Climate change, I think, has become something that most people around the world today acknowledge as a phenomenon that is happening. What is more difficult is that the science still doesn't give us all the answers and perhaps most importantly, for many people the question is, can we actually cope with climate change and what would change as a result of trying to move towards a low-carbon economy? Would it mean that we lose our jobs? Would it make our economies less successful? Would it affect the well-being and, if you want, also the wealth of individuals and of communities? I think the answer to that is simple. More and more people across the planet do recognize that climate change will change the future. The question is still, will it happen in our lifetime? And how much do we also accept responsibility for future generations? What is quite clear is that climate change is happening, that impacts are beginning to occur, and that more and more people across the planet are recognizing that we must act. Our capacity to act and our ability to make a difference is certainly what preoccupies people the most at the moment, and that's where our work is most important. I think the United Nations in the year 2014 and 2015 will once again take center stage in the global effort and search for a collective response to climate change. Not only will the Secretary General in September 2014 convene a climate leadership summit in New York to once again motivate political leaders, our heads of state and governments, but also CEOs in industry and leaders in civil society to accept responsibility. Without leadership, without personal responsibility amongst those who can make a difference, not much will change. Then in December in Lima, Peru, the negotiations of the Climate Change Convention will reconvene and work towards what will hopefully be a breakthrough agreement in 2015. There is no alternative to trying to address climate change collectively. The question is, can we find an agreement that is both meaningful in terms of the science, but also equitable and fair in terms of the different responsibilities and also burdens that different countries and communities will have to bear. That is the role of the United Nations and that is the focus of our work. And even if we don't succeed the first time or the second time or even the third time, we must continue to pursue this path because it is the only way forward and that is why the United Nations also has such a central role to play. In the end, it is to unite nations in combating global warming and climate change.